Hey, it's Joy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm hopping along with Prickly Pear Stamps for their Be Merry YouTube Hop, which is featuring some of our favorite Christmas and holiday sets that we have. I chose to use the Christmas Tags Clear Stamp Set, and you can find all of the information about the hop and the products that I'm using in the description box below. So I chose to stamp this onto a tag from my stash. Just to be aware, Prickly Pear does have two different nesting tag sets in our shop if you're interested. I am stamping down the to and from and the beautiful candy cane with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And the reason I'm using Tuxedo Black Ink is because it's Copic friendly and I will be using my Copics. I like a really dark crisp line so I did choose to stamp this twice but you can leave that step out of the process if you wish. So uh, from there I am going to bring out my Copics. Like anything when you have anything white there are still shadows so I am going to use my cool gray markers. Now when you have a highlight in the middle you you want to leave a light lightness in the center so even though i've got a white stripe i am still putting in the gray so at the points where you've got the little triangles in the candy cane i make sure to put my c3 in there and then on the back end where it kind of curves in i also feather that in so that we get a nice shadow i also make sure to put all of my grays down first making sure to leave every other stripe white so that I can color it red. Then I come in with my C1 and I just feather that in to the white so that we have a nice highlight in the center. I am choosing to use an R59 as my scary dark because if you use multiple colors in your blend, you'll get a nice vibrancy and depth to your color. So I repeat my process. So where those stripes come together, my R59 is the heaviest and then around the dark around the back side it's the darkest I make sure to leave a lot of white space so that I can have a highlight in the center if you tend to be heavy-handed or just aren't comfortable with your Copics yet or any alcohol marker you can always go back in with a uh, white gel pen next I come in with the R29 and I feather that in extending that shadow still leaving a lot of white space from there, um, I will come in with an R24. I opted not to leave any white space because I wanted a really shiny but vibrant red in my uh, candy cane. But again, if you wanna leave that white space, you can, or you can use a gel pen, or like I use a Una Posca pen to put in my uh, details. Now, I like a lot of red bows at Christmas. That's what I decorate here at home with. So I am using a different red blend for my bow. And I chose the R32 to 39 family because it's more of a purplish red. So it's a little bit different from that first blend. That first blend has kind of an orange undertone to it. So that's how I'm getting my differentiation. So after that, I put in my R37 and every place that I would have shadows like where the bow gathers and around the loops because the loops are going to be darker because it's behind everything. I put in the R37. And then from there, I bring in my R35 marker, which is going to be my main color or my midtone. And I start to uh, extend those shadows and color in the majority of the bow because that is what your eye is going to see the most of is the R35 because it's your main color. From there, I bring in the R32 again just to blend it in. I do feel like I lost a little bit of my uh, shadow, so I brought in an R39. This is a new pro product called Dye Ink Blending Solution that you can find in our shop. And it, I'm just using it like a pea size portion of it and I'm using rhubarb stock memento ink and using my dome foam blender I dip into the blending solution and then into my ink and I'm just distressing the edges and you can see how light that is it almost has a watercolor effect but if you're not really good at blending you're going to get the perfect blend every time that you use this blending 
solution. So be sure to look at look for it if you go on to the Prickly Pal, Prickly Pear Pals. I'm tongue tied. Facebook page. I did a live there. You can also find it on YouTube. So again, this dries back really nice and smooth, and it's just soft. I love this stuff. I think you guys are going to love it too. There are so many techniques. You can even use watercolor pencils with this. It's fabulous. We'll do some more um, tutorials over on our uh, Prickly Pear channel. So from here, um, I'm just kind of testing everything out. I did put some white um, highlights in off camera and I used a birch paper. And here I'm just trying to decide what um, ribbon I want to use. And using my crop dial, I put a hole in there. Now I mentioned that this is a hop, Wendy Cranford, Jay Thomas and Brennan will all be part of this. This will be linked in the description box below so you'll know exactly where to go. I chose the black gingham and then I used some black twine just to tie a bow. I kind of like red, black, and white so you'll see that a lot on my channel if you haven't already picked up on that. I do end up trimming those uh, tails of the ribbon just a hair with my scissors just so that they're on the diagonal just to give it some interest and whatnot so i really do appreciate you hanging out with me i would love it if you would like and subscribe to be eligible for the uh giveaway you will have to subscribe and like and comment on every channel so be sure to do that uh, check out the prickly pear channel i've got a really cool video up there as well here i am adding some silver gems from my stash and this is just a final look at my card again Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Check that description box below so that you can hop along with us. And until next time, keep crafting, friends. I really do appreciate you being here. Bye-bye.